Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, what you see up on the screen right now is a fella that is uh, fooling around with Power SDR and adding features that didn't exist before to Power SDR. And uh, you can follow his revisions if you'll go to the Flex Radio Yahoo group. You're sure to see them. There's uh, dozens of them uh, listed there. He's now in revision 10. Revision 10. And uh, he does have a website that you can go to. And I'll put that down in the descriptions of the video. And he describes the, the revisions and even has videos that kind of walk you through uh, what they do. But anyway, here is revision 10, and let me kind of take you through it if you'll kind of follow the cursor around the screen. There's uh, quite a few new features in this software, and he keeps adding them. So right now, he's got a new meter up here in the right-hand corner, and if you click it, it changes. It's got three different versions in there. I kind of prefer this one. Now, depending on what you're uh, looking at, whether the mic or the SDR, the meter will change uh, based on what function you're uh, trying to look at on the meter. So, pretty neat deal. If you look down here below it where you see the bands listed, He's got something new now, shortwave listening. And he's got all the bands in there for shortwave, but there's an extension that he's put into the software that is really neat, and I want to show you that up here at the top. He's got something called Spotter. Spotter. So we'll open that, <clears throat> that window up. And here it is, and uh, notice I'm using spider.hamradiodeluxe.com uh, through port number 8000, and I've got my call sign in there. That's about all you have to put in there. You have to put in the uh, spider DX cluster that you want to track, and then the uh, port designation. But anyway, you come down here at the bottom, he's got two buttons. One says Spot Shortwave Listening, and the other one says Spot DX. Let's do Spot DX first. So here it is opening it up up here. And uh, in a minute, it'll start pulling down those uh, DX spots. But what's really cool about it <coughs> is that it will show them uh, you know in this window here as it propagates uh, through the different bands starts at the low bands moves its way up so uh, here in a few minutes we're going to start seeing uh, DX cluster actually shown on the power SDR screen and uh, I think if we move to 15, there might be some there already. So, uh, here we are in 15 meters. Let's move over to 40 meters, see if we've got any uh, DX being shown in there yet. Yeah, here's one. Here's a EA1 EV. And, of course, he's on 40 meters. And if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, He's not coming in right now, it's daytime, but it did indicate exactly where he happens to be uh, on the pan adapter of the, of the Flex uh, 3000 that I'm using right now. So as those DX spots uh, propagate through the different bands, and let's move to 20, and here's some more that started to propagate, all right? Uh, right here, there's a 3B7FR, and there he is right there. You can see his signal popping up. He's on, uh, looks like, 
CW or something right now. And uh, let's move on up the band. And there's another one, VK9CK. Uh, he's right here. And here's two more, 3W2BR and OM3TWM. So these will keep propagating across the various bands as it pulls in the, uh, the DX spots. It'll propagate through the bands. <clears throat> and you can see it's already pulled in these spots right here. It'll keep updating. And I believe it, uh, it's on a 30-minute cycle is what he said. And they'll start dropping off uh, if there's no signal there, no DX spot for that person. Now, the other one is called Spot Shortwave Listening. And he's basically got 12,000 shortwave stations in there. Now, you have to remember uh, that... Um, a lot of these shortwave stations don't have their antennas pointed toward North America. So you may or may not get a signal, but uh, it's propagating through the bands right now. Let and here we go. So I'm on 49 meters, which is a shortwave band, and you can see that he's got uh, Santa Monica, Gander, you know, they're on the same frequency, they're just uh, separated by a great distance, so uh, they don't interfere with each other. And here's some more shortwave stations. And it, it will continue to propagate till it reaches about 12,000 uh, max, maximum number of stations. It'll just keep propagating across. This is really neat at night uh, when they start coming in, especially the longer wave stations start coming in on 40 and some of the other ones. And you can actually see who that is that uh, you happen to be listening to. Really neat feature called spotting. The next one that he's added is uh, called a scanner. And it's simply a scanner that will scan the entire band you know, looking for signals. And you can set the time that it m moves across the band, and <clears throat> you can scan your memories if you want, or you can scan for shortwave uh, stations. So he's now incorporated a scanner into that. The next one is called Transmit Water ID, Waterfall ID. And you notice I have my call sign in here. What that will do, once it's green, is when you transmit, if someone else has a waterfall that's operating, and what is a waterfall for some of you that may not know? Well, this is a waterfall right here. And when you transmit, what'll happen is uh, it will print your call sign in the waterfall so <laughs> they can actually see w1 x wx going down through the waterfall and i'm going to try to test that in a second here on 20 meters we're just going to try to transmit that and let's do that right now we'll transmit And there it is, W1XWX in the waterfall. So, <laughs> pretty neat uh, little feature he added to it. Now, there's a bunch of other kind of little more hidden features. If you look at this screen, this is one of his uh, custom skins. You can see that the buttons have changed to these silver-looking buttons. Uh, kind of look like real buttons rather than just a slider. And they move around, as you can see. And he's also added a CPU temperature and voltage indicator. So you can see the temperature of the uh, CPU in Fahrenheit or centigrade. 
and he also shows you what percentage of the C uh, CPU is being used and of course I'm recording this while I'm running it so I'm using a good deal of the CPU I'm using about 80 to 85 percent of the CPU right now because I'm recording it normally I'm only using about 30 percent and again this is a quad core uh, AMD processor uh, with 6 gig of memory so uh, has enough horsepower to do this anyway pretty neat new features another one that's kind of neat is if you'll remember you always had to punch in 14.297 or whatever frequency you wanted you had to put the point in there but now you can just type letters so if I want to go to 7.279 7.279 all I have to do is press 7279 and it will automatically put the decimal point in there like that and uh, so you don't have to put that decimal point in you can just put whole numbers in uh, you have to click this first and then you can just type in uh, the whole numbers and it will go right there without the decimal point so that's a neat feature also uh, <clears throat> he's also made a few other changes to the some of the background operations uh, which uh, actually help the receive part and transmit part uh, of this particular SDR radio so he continues to modify it. Um, don't know. I don't know what to expect him to do next. Uh, he's really come out with some really neat features. All this is available for free. It's a free download on his site. And again, I'll put that at the bottom of uh, the description of this video when I post it up. So anyway, you can go out there and look around, look at the videos he's got, and watch as he continues to develop Power SDR. And of course, he started with version 2.7.2, which was the last version uh, ever published by Flex Radio for the Flex 3000, 5000, and 1500 radios. So he's making them uh, even more neater <laughs> than they were before. Anyway, like I usually say, I wish you clear skies in 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. I do that all the time out here where I live. Have a great day. See y'all later.